So, good morning again guys. Yeah, uh, yeah, my old bot is still really sore. I don't know if you can see it's swelling, but yeah. It's still really sore. And if you don't know why it's sore, just watch yesterday's vlog and it'll explain everything. And now my knee feels the same, like my left arm but my right knee. Like I don't know how I were falling, but I were like rolling, so I'm guessing that's why it's like that. But Today I am not in for another, don't start till 4 so I have to get ready for another 2 hours I think it is, or 1, 2 o'clock, about 2 hours, something like that. So I have just literally gone downstairs to get, I claim breakfast or dinner at half 11, but I thought I'd get myself ready as well, I thought I'd just do my hair now. So all I have to do is just chill out and wait and all I have to do is get dressed ready for work so it's no rush so I'm just going to catch up on TV because I have watch everything that I ain't seen on Sky catch up if my TV wants to come on because it never does there we go but yeah I'm going to do that uh, catch up on everything but I think now this week I'm off Thursday Friday I'm just going to have time off not scared because I just want to rest Especially my elbow, so I'm scared to fall on it, that's why I kind of scared. As much yesterday, apart from the eclipse you saw. Oh, I was scared to put it on my arm, because I didn't want to fall on my arm. But yeah, I think I'm just going to have time off next day to Friday, when I've uh, got days off work. But today, like I said, I'm not going to four, so I'm just going to eat this. And well, I am a little bit good about that is it is a nice day today like I just mentioned and yes still everyone planned to do something again today and I'm just that like, I've got a bit of work tomorrow. Can't really plan with you all, so I am kinda of pretty good. It's uh, it's still a decent day. But fingers crossed it stays like this for a couple of weeks time for pit bowling because it is all that door. And I really do not want it. I'm not sure if it's covered up, but I know it's that door. It might be, I'm not sure. I hope it's just not like this in a couple of weeks' time for paint bowling because I don't fancy getting wet running around paint bowling. It's kind of put a damn on it a little bit. But we've finally got a plan for paint bowling now as well. We are going to get the minibus there, minibus back, head back home. Everyone's getting changed because everyone's going to be sweaty, smelling of paint and horrible. And we're all going to go out round and drive from town centre for this birthday. So there's finally a plan set in stone, so that's what I like to do, I hate not being organised, hate not knowing what's happening, I finally got a plan. It's like they've just said about the uh, skygrounds, I've got four days off and I hate not having something to do and not, like I said, not having a plan. Because I'm trying to plan to go two weeks today, so the day after paintballing, to the skygrounds, it opens at half six at night. Uh, and then shuts at half nine, so three hours. And it's, uh, I think, £20 a ticket or something like that in advance. You can just buy them on their website. So, yeah, if you're wanting something to do for Halloween, just go on yorkshirescaregrounds.com. It's like saying near Wakefield, just go have a look there. Like I said, my friend works there. I think she's been there now for the next past few years, and she recommends it as well. Because I put a status on Facebook, asked if anybody wants to come. You know, just like this, but 100% recommend to go. Like I said, no one else goes. I am really, really, really debating to go on my own. If I could just find the way to get there, because I know there's a train to Wakefield, but I'm not really sure what bus it is from uh, Wakefield to the thing. So, I just have to look into it. But I really want to do something now for Halloween, since I've got like, like I said, four days off around Halloween. So, I'll just see. Like I said at the minute, I'm going really to get to work, get it over with, get the next three days after this over with, and then I've got Thursday Friday off, so nice. But the minute I'm proper aching, so. Yeah. Four more minutes as well to wait.
Well, finally, I'm at work. I'm here a little bit early because when I got into town, they were already a tram due. So I'm really man. Couldn't be able to wait around because it's Sunday. For like another 15 minutes for the next one. So, because the tram I got to town was early, I don't know which one. But I must have been really tired last night because I've plugged the camera in to charge. But forgot to turn it on the switch because the camera's dying and I've only got like, hang on. A cell worth, not even that, that worth a battery left. And my phone's the same. <laughs> That's because I'm playing on my phone all morning, like I said, researching GoPros and Halloween stuff. So yeah, kind of sucks. But I kind of wish I had a car as well, so I'm thinking about that. So I really can't wait to pass my test because one, I can drive to work. Two, I could have drove to that scare ground so I'd have to messing around, trying to find a way to get there, which I was doing on the tram. All those things I'm going to have to get a train and bus, like I've said. But let's see uh, how quiet tonight is, so I'll see you guys in a few hours. Hey right, guys, finally out of work and like, ow, ah, I just stumbled and proper twist my knee. Uh, yeah, it still hurts my knee. <laughs> I'm Michael Bo. Still hurts. I don't know how many times I've mentioned that today, but it still hurts. But yeah, I'm finally out of work and I'm trying to rush to make this tram because it's during like eight minutes. So I just wanted to get the earlier tram just to get home a little bit earlier. Just because I'm, um, well, I'm pretty tired to be honest after I've been in Manchester all day yesterday. So if I hurry up, well, I'm finally in town and for the first time I had a chance to get to the shop, which is good because I'm proper craving crisps. Like some reason, like some sort of pregnant one. So, a crisp bottle of pop and the tram juice. Hey okay. right, guys, finally off the tram. <coughs> I don't know why I'm whispering just then, for some reason. But yeah, finally off the tram. Hang on. Uh, you can't even see me, it's too dark. I need to get under the light. Welcome to DDV Podcast, because that's all it seems like at the minute. DDV Radio. Hang on, you're getting under the light. It hurts so much to walk as well, my knees, so... Like, every time I sit down, it just seizes back up. I feel like I've got one leg longer than the other. But yeah, there you go, you can kind of see me now. But yeah, finally off the tram. Finally, nearly home. All I want to do is get in and rest my knee. Because like, at work, I'm running around, so I can't really feel the pain. And then when I finish, it just seizes up and it just hurts again. But it's my own fault. I can't keep going on about something. <laughs> well, I've only got myself to blame. But yeah, like I said, I'm finally home. And I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to get in, get some food, get some sleep, ready for a long day ahead of me tomorrow. <laughs> so, thanks again for watching. I'll see you tomorrow as always. Night, guys. We're going to do a light, so you can see me.